But it's never okay to be a bully. It's not. You know, people need to chill with that. You know, you think you're in the right to go around, you know, doing those things to people. You don't. There are going to be things in life that you ain't going to like. But that's life. You got to deal with it. You can't go around, like, taking things into your own hands and making your own rules and and doing what you want. There are rules, procedures, regulations, and guidelines everybody has to follow. You cannot break the rules and do what you want. I notice since I, I've been living around here, a lot of people do. They they live like that. This world is at its worst. I don't know if how it is everywhere else, but since I've been living here in this town, they have a way of of just of just you know being ignorant with a lot of things. And I see things on the news and hear people talking about the crime. You're not concerned with the crime. Because you sit up there, you harass each other, and then you preach about crime, that is a part of crime. You're not making the world better. You're 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 making the world worse than what it already is. I don't understand how some individuals around here can look themselves in the mirror every day. I just can't, I can't understand it. I will never understand it. But I just want you to know that I see right through you. I see right through you. Right through the BS. That's why a lot of people don't like me. Because I can see the truth. I see the good and the bad. In a lot of people. And just plain bad. I see their soul as bad. And it's always going to be like that. A person who 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 is of evil and ignorance, they're always going to hate what is good or try to diminish what is good. I see things the way it is. And I always tell myself the truth. I don't lie. I tell myself the truth. If there's hope for something, then yeah, I'll believe. But the way the community is around here, it's at its worst. Last night, I was walking home from, from Dollar Tree. And cars just speeding it back and forth. I'm like in the middle of of a uh, crossing over to get to the other side of the street from the sidewalk, and a a truck looked like a company truck almost hit me. Just don't care. Just going. And I'm like right there, trying to make it over fully to the street, the other side of the street. I am a life. I am a human being. Once my life is gone, I don't get another. I can't come back. I am somebody's child. Two. 
I am of flesh and blood and bones. I am not superwoman. There's been so many accidents in this community. It's terrible. It's terrible. And these drivers, they do need to start being charged for that. They do. Because it hurts people. It injures people. And some people have long-term effects from those injuries. I have to deal with hearing loss in the right side of my ear. Sometimes I have blurred vision as a result from those accidents. Some of my bones hasn't even healed right. But then you're going on with your life laughing about it, knowing that you hurt somebody else. No, the laws need to be stricter. Drivers need to be charged for hit and run accidents. Nobody should get away with that. If you're bold enough to, to drive up and hit someone, then you, you, can, you can go to jail and serve a prison length sentence. That is right and that is fair. Because you, you, you're not sorry. And then two, I'm like this now. Forget sorry. The, it's like this. Why do it? If you, you know it's wrong, why do it? You read the driving hand handbook. You know not to do it. Why do it? You're stupid. And you deserve to be charged. You deserve to have your license taken for a lifetime. And I think they should up the laws on, on uh, all accidents. Especially when it pertains to uh, injuring someone or taking someone's life. Because those are serious things that people have to, have to deal with as an end result of a careless, reckless, sorry-ass driver. I understand things happen that are out of people's control, like like a person having a medical situation while driving. That's different. But if you're you're out here drinking and carrying on, getting behind the wheel, not caring, and then taking that car out on the road, that is a weapon. You can hurt somebody. And if you're just speeding because you don't care to follow anything. The rules and regulations, stop signs, signs, all of that. When you see the pedestrian, they always have the right of way. Pedestrian always has the right of way because they're on foot. They always have the right of way. Let them get across the street. You ain't got to be somewhere that bad where you just, you got to feel the need to want to drive through them. Or to try to force them out of the way. You don't have a right to do that. Especially if they they were already there before you got there. Because I've seen drivers sit up there and see people still crossing over to make it to the other side of the street speeding up. Now, that's a mental illness. That's real shady. That's messed up. That's messy. You deserve to have your license taken. I think there should be a law. No, I don't think. There should be a law. If a person hit and run, their license should be taken for a lifetime. They should never be able to allow to be able to drive again. That is fair. Because you're protecting other people and a lot of pedestrians who who use walking every day as their means of transportation. And it protects the people in the communities and the environment. So yeah, take that license. 